welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the dreaded bare spots you're going to find in your yard, usually during winter. Just got finished mowing. Everything is looking really nice here. I've only got a few issues with things like clover and chickweed. A little bit of bumpiness we're going to address. But we're going to talk about the number one thing that I hate to find every spring. Bare spots. But today we're going to talk about fixing these bare spots, what you need, how you do it, how you become successful. And at the very end we're going to kind of talk about a pre-emergent that you can use when you are seeding bare spots or any parts of your yard. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna collect our materials. We're gonna need seed, a rake, and some soil to put on top of it. I'm going to use peat moss, and then we're gonna make sure that we keep it nice and watered so we can get it to grow. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to break up a half inch layer of soil. That way we have some loose dirt to work with and we can get that seed worked into about an eighth of an inch. What we wanna do is use our high quality seed this is uh, perennial ryegrass. It is a blue tag mix called SS9000. Um, it's not available right now, but if you look on the Super Seed Store, you can probably end up finding it. But we're gonna make sure we have a nice layer. This is such a small area, it's hard to actually measure the requirements you're gonna need. So just do a light sprinkling, not too heavy, not too light. If you have too much seed, you're gonna have competition issues that are kind of nasty and hard to deal with. All right, you should have nice coverage on your seed. And the next thing you want to do is kind of rake that into the soil so it gets sort of mixed in with the soil a little bit. Probably about an eighth an inch underneath the soil. Next thing you want to do is give this a nice light coating of a topsoil, sand, organic compost. Um, this is actually peat moss. It holds a lot of moisture and makes it easy so you don't have to water this as often. Um, we're going to leave it on top of there. This is perennial ryegrass, so it should germinate in about four to five days, depending on the temperature we get. We got pretty good temperatures coming up, so we're looking at the 60s and 70s. So that's gonna pretty much shoot up pretty quick and then start to mature. Uh, we're gonna make sure that it doesn't get dry. Uh, I probably won't water it every single day, but you know, every two days or so. I've told you about a way that you can use a pre-emergent on your newly seeded spot. And that's pretty simple. Scott's Turf Builder, triple action, built for seeding. So this is a starter fertilizer right here. The cool thing about it is that it contains a chemical called mesotrione that acts sort of as a pre-emergent for up to like 21 days in ideal temperatures. Usually you can also use it as a post-emergent, but it is absolutely ideal for a pre-emergent for seeding. You can use a little bit of this. This is a lot easier to spread in a small area uh, instead of the liquid professional form. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put a little bit back there and then I'm gonna actually lay my pre-emergent and stop for that seeded area. That way a real pre-emergent like uh, dithopyr or prodiamine doesn't affect that area. Typically for cool season lawns, you're gonna use a pre-emergent at around 50 to 55 degrees that's going to stop weeds from growing in your yard or the germination process. All right, so that's things like crabgrass. Once you've finished all of these steps, you're gonna to start to see germination between five and 14 days, depending on your temperatures and the seed type you used. After that, it's gonna to continue to grow and you can start mowing it when it gets to about three to four inches. All right, folks, that's it. All you have to do is add some water every once in a while maybe every day, every two days, and you're good to go. I hope you launched something. I'll see you next time, and I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to this video, and I hope to see you next time.